Hi everyone. Uh, today I want to show you something that I found. It's a hidden treasure. I was checking out my um, pretty much closet, making some cleaning since we are stuck here inside because of the quarantine. And I found this duffel bag or maybe a tote. It was a little bit bulky and heavy and I had no idea what it, what it had inside. So I just started to check it out. And I noticed that there were some controllers, and I immediately realized that it was my old Nintendo 64. Uh, for those of you that do not know what a Nintendo 64 console is, it's pretty much the first generation of Nintendo Play games that came, or consoles, I'm sorry, that came with 3D and a 64-bit processor. Uh, this is the precursor of modern 3D graphics that you will find on today's game. This thing was built in 1996, and there's a particular story about this this console. Uh, so I'll explain it to you guys really quick. Uh, I'm going to try to start it. I took it out, cleaned it a little bit, and I have the connection and the power, but I haven't tried it yet. So we will see if it works, because it's 2NE20 right now. So that means that this thing has been uh, around for 24 years. The last time I used it, was before going to college I think that I it was given to me as a Christmas present in 1997 or 1996 I'm sorry December 1996 and it was a special edition where in Panama uh, my older brother was traveling to the US and I think he purchased it at a Toys R Us story and I do remember that because it was a Toys R Us limited edition that came with this uh, fluorescent green controller and it was pretty cool it was unique for them it was the only one specially built for Toys R Us and then we purchased a second controller which is the common black one uh, I did notice that I'm missing some games I only have two of them here but I have like eight or nine cartridges cartridges I'm sorry so we have Banjo Tui and Super Mario 64, it was a player's choice game by that time, but it's curious to notice that uh, I think the, the other games are at my parents' house, because when I went to college I left this at home, and uh, on my apartment I started when my brother moved in, because he was going to college here in Panama, uh, I think he stored it in a box and then my mom just threw it in the closet, I thought it was gone or sold or maybe uh, given away but I just found it so I'm very happy about it now let's see if it works the the really cool thing is that this this thing uh, had its own internal memory so it was the first one of the first ones and I would like to see if when I turn it on it will still show me uh, what I had accomplished in Mario 64 because I remember it took me quite some time so let's try it I'll show it to you real quick let me turn it on and see I have to connect uh, the RCA cables because this thing uh, runs on and I think it's three RCA one second audio and video let's see if I can set up the camera and so I can show you if it's working after this many years, let's try. And let's see if we put in the cartridge, it works, and hopefully it does. Because again, this thing has been around for quite some time. This is how the cartridge used to look like. 
Oops. Plug it in. And hopefully we shall have a working game. So cross your fingers. Oh. So it does have power. Let me see. Maybe it has something plugged on top of it. Try it. There it is. Unbelievable. After almost 17 years, it's still working. Can you see if the controller works? Let me see if... Oh, it still has the memory of the same games I played before. So, unbelievable. It's still working. After 17 years, this thing still kept the records of all the games I played on it. So, for those of you, let's see if it works. Yep. Here you have it. A flashback in time by playing with a Nintendo 64 that I haven't used in almost 17 years. So, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're under Streaming Army. Um, any comments and questions are always welcome. Please stay at home and stay safe. I know that this is not the current type of videos that we do, but I was just excited that I found this hidden gem on my closet and I just wanted to show you to you guys. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and you can also follow us on Twitter and on Facebook under Streaming Army. Uh, have a great day guys.